hello good morning class 3 i hope you all are fine yes so in the previous class i have given you all a work to read the chapter 6 that is the beaks and claws and i am sure you all have read the chapter right so today in this video i am going to give you all a short explanation about beaks okay and claws we shall do in the next class all right so let us begin so children we all know that there are many many kinds of birds in this world from small to big isn't it and birds fly with the help of their wings yes and birds are born with feathers okay so let us see in this chapter about beaks birds do not have teeth so instead of teeth they have a pair of strong horny jaws called beaks okay so birds have no teeth but they have a strong pair of horny jaws called beaks okay these are beaks pointed thing that is beak beaks okay see so let us see the performing so children let us see with the help of um, these beaks what these birds can do okay so number 1 is birds use their beaks for feeding okay so these beaks are used to feed their young ones young babies next point is birds use their beak for building nest okay so these beaks are used for building their house building their nest okay next point is most birds use their beaks to smooth their feathers and this is called preening okay so with the help of their beaks they smooth their feathers see how this this bird is smoothing his or her feathers and this process is called preening okay so this process is called preening next point is birds also use their beaks to protect themselves from their enemies okay so these beaks they protect themselves from their enemies okay so it is very very helpful helpful for them to have their own beaks okay so our next topic is types of beaks all right so children there are many many types of beaks so we shall see it so children there are nine types of beaks number 1 strong sharp and curved beaks number 2 short hard and horny beaks number 3 strong heavy and chisel shaped beak number 4 hooked beak number 5 broad and flat beak number 6 short and broad beaks number 7 long thin and pointed beak number 8 long beak with a with a back like pouch number 9 last one is broad long and pointed beak okay so these are the nine types of beaks which each bird has okay so children let us see first kind of beaks they are strong sharp and curved beaks birds like hawk kite owl and vulture are flesh eating birds they eat small birds snakes mice frogs and rabbits okay so birds like kite vulture owl they have strong sharp and curved beaks why because they eat only flesh of others birds and they are called flesh eating birds okay so vulture 
all and kite they are flesh eating birds they are called birds of prey why they are called birds of prey because they have strong sharp and curved beaks that help them to tear fish okay they eat this beaks help them to tear the flesh okay that's why they are called birds of prey understood next one is short hard and horny beaks Birds like sparrow, peacock and pigeon eat grains, nuts and seeds. They have short, hard and horny cone-shaped beaks which help them to crush grains, hard nuts and seed. Seeds. Okay, so birds like sparrow, peacock, pigeon, they have very short, hard and horny beaks and they eat only grains, nuts and seeds. All right? Next is strong, heavy and chisel shaped beak. Some birds such as woodpecker and hoop boy have strong chisel shaped beaks. These beaks help them to poke holes into hard tree trunks and pull out insects from holes. Okay, so birds like woodpecker and hoop boy are the birds which has strong heavy and chisel shaped beak it helps them to poke holes into hard tree trunks and pull out insect from holes okay i hope you all have seen a woodpecker woodpecker poking holes into hard trees yes or no okay so like that we'll see number fourth hood Hooked beak. Birds like parrots and cockatoes have a hooked or curved beak to crack nuts, seeds and hard fruits. Their curved beak also helps them to climb up trees. Okay, so for example of hooked beak is parrot. Parrots. Okay, so can you see hooked beak? This is hooked beak. It helps them to crack nuts seeds and hard fruits all right next is broad and flat beak some water birds like ducks geese are a few and a few cranes eat insects and worms present in mud and water they have broad and flat beak with tiny holes called strainers along the edge when they take in muddy water with insects and worms all the mud and water flows out from the strainers leaving behind insects and worms inside the beak okay so next is duck and geese they have broad and flat beak And in that tiny beak, they have a tiny hole called strainers along the edge. Okay, so in this beak, they have a tiny holes called strainers. Alright. Next is short and broad beaks. Insect eating birds like swallows have short and broad beaks their mouth and tongue are very sticky these birds keep their beak open while flying thus many tiny flying insect get stuck into okay so next kind of beak is short and broad beaks okay birds like swallow they have very short and broad beaks which is very sticky and while flying they keep their mouth open why because many tiny flying insect may stuck into its beak okay so swallow has a very short and broad beaks next is long 
thing and pointed beak. Some birds like hummingbird and the sunbird have a long thing and pointed beak which helps them to suck nectar from flowers. Okay, so hummingbird is a small last bird in amongst all the birds and they have a very long thing and pointed beak which helps them to suck nectar from flowers. Okay. Next is long beak with a, with a back like pouch. Pouch means it is a kind of a purse. Okay. So, birds like pelican have a long beak with a back like pouch hanging from it. Okay. So, pelican. Okay. So, this is a pelican. It has a beak with a back like a pouch. Okay. So, can you see? It looks like a pouch. Isn't it? Okay. So, Pelican has a very long beak with a back like a pouch. Last one is broad, long and pointed beak. Some birds like kingfisher and stork have broad, long and pointed beaks which help them to catch fish. Okay, so birds like kingfisher and stork, they have a very broad, long and Pointed beak which helps them to catch fishes. Okay. So that's all for today. We shall continue the next topic in the next class. Okay.